I went to the Renaissance Fair on Saturday. It was pretty epic. And a bunch of my friends came and we had so much fun. And one of my friends is going to join me this morning to help me recap the Renaissance Fair experience. Huzzah! Huzzah, kind sir. Huzzah, my lady. My lord. Good, <laughs> good evening. Wait, good day. Good morning. Good day. Which, which shape window shall i put you in this one or this oh, one i don't know i might get rid of my guests they kind of annoy me. oh no don't send away thine guests <laughs> i can't believe you put your whole outfit on again for this i had to and got some mead <laughs> you busted out your mug dude i that's one of my biggest regrets is not buying that mug we had so much fun on saturday what an outfit you have and have well you have it on right now tell us about your glasses tell us about what made you get this outfit? Um, I don't know. I, I didn't want to look like the uh, the normal nerd. So I went to time traveling nerd, apparently. Because it was time traveling weekend. at the Yeah, I had no weekend. idea. It was slightly yeah. themed, but you already were committed to this outfit before you knew of this theme. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I don't know. I like the idea of like the, the sci-fi uh, time traveler. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Dave wants to know if this is the guy that brought food into the studio and pissed off Anthony and Gavin. Wasn't me. Yes. Here's the good that's going to come from this. Never, ever bring food to a thing that is not a person's house. Oh. Ever again. So if there's some neighbors and they're having a potluck or a, a little, even a get-together and you want to bring some salad. Potluck. That's pot well, No, luck. this is not a potluck situation. It isn't. It couldn't be less. Look at it. It's him. This is Mr. Deviled Egg. See, at least Marshall brings food places he goes. He he, he rarely shows up empty-handed. That's right. And, and so what if it's a couple of stinky eggs? <laughs> so it was Time Traveler's Weekend. I was wearing, I should have put my outfit on. I had like a beer wench. So it was like basically a peasanty type dress, like off the shoulders. Maybe I could wear it again. And I had a little, this is, that's what's pretty fucking awesome about Amazon. It's like, you can get a whole Renaissance outfit within a week's time. And I had a little yeah. corset and these lace up knee high boots. Maybe I could wear these again. We'll see. Uh, and it was just so yeah, much everything's, fun. Uh, China. That's China. Great. Thank you, China. Shout out to China. Can you see out of your glasses? Uh, kind of. Kind of. These magnify. So this is, as a time traveler, you're supposed to, like, quickly magnify what you see before going in time, I guess, is the idea. And it's, your time traveling goggles have been at 11 o'clock, like, since Saturday. So maybe you're stuck in time. There, there we, we just go. move forward. <laughs> so this is your first time at the Renaissance Fair, Marshall. What did you think? Yeah, it was really cool. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Like we said on uh, on the way there, I was nervous. Yeah, I couldn't believe you were nervous. I was like, this is not a job interview. This is not, <laughs> no one's been. expecting anything of you. <laughs> I don't know. I was uh, totally unprepared. <laughs> Mentally, physically, I definitely drank too much. Yeah, we had to park and, and then it was a long walk on foot. Yeah. To, to the Renaissance Fair area. A very, very long walk. Um, mm -hmm. But we were able to see everybody and kind of like transition into what was to be. It was right away. It, it become apparent that you had overdressed because you were like, you and Lindsay were both sweating bullets yeah. right out the gate. Yeah. But absolutely. I like that you committed to your jacket and never took it off. Yeah, I haven't taken it off since we got back. <laughs> Just sleeping in it, showering in it, just like they did in Renaissance times. This is who so I am now. We immediately started drinking. I think we got coffees and then drove there and like immediately started drinking. Yeah. I they had mead, which were which were like smaller. I was expecting like a whole glass of something, but I guess mead is like a more concentrated, almost like wine type drink. Or someone can correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. I don't know if it's like an alcohol, but it's more like wine than it is, I guess, like than beer. And it comes in, it came in berry and regular and they recommended, okay. Cause you 
you buy a fucking mead and it's this big and you're like, well, I'm going to go broke today. And they're like, well, it's more concentrated. That's why we have to give you a little bit. They're yeah, like, we recommend the, uh, feasting. Yeah, they recommended that plus a cider. So you'd like sip a little cider and then like mix it in, which is considered a bee sting. I think I had maybe two or three bee stings and then like <laughs> maybe two more ciders. It really caught up to me. Yeah. Yeah. They're powerful. Because I started falling asleep. Oh, I had no beers, just ciders. Oh, no. Unless you consider ciders beers. I got pretty... Yeah, I don't know how much I drank. But you had to... Well, you didn't have to drive until like much later, so you could have right. gotten way more drunk. Yeah, I, uh, I, I took it easy, I guess. Lindsay got a little silly, but mm-hmm. yeah, Lindsay looked toit. My boobs think that Lindsay looked toit. <laughs> but wait, Lindsay looked toit. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a little bit more expensive than than previous years, is what I remember. Oh my god. I don't know previous years, but Jesus, we spent so much friggin' money. Why was it so much money? And each beer was like, I don't know. 12 bucks. 12 bucks, really? $12 a beer. I yeah. think I had like seven or eight beers. Really? You, know, fancy mug. you didn't yeah, get drunk at so. all. No, I paid because I, I didn't pee once. I sweat everything out. Yeah, why were you not peeing? Because I was wearing this and it was 90 degrees. Dang, you men really amaze me. Um, this was me with the sausage. <laughs> there are many more photos of this, like banging around, uh, my face and mouth. So I'll show that eventually. Let's see. Are there more Renaissance fair picks? Let's see. D D D D D. Oh, this was us. Look how cute. This was Lindsay. And she bought herself a little fun mug too. Wow. What a time. What a time. And this was Frank, who did not dress yeah. up. Great costume. Yeah, great costume of being a regular dude. And you can see the disdain in your face. You were like, why are you not dressing up? But you were already so sweating at this point. And we made oh you God. go on this spinny ride. Oh, I'm still sick thinking about it. <laughs> it was a, a small, like, spinny-type carousel that was hand-powered by, like, I think a 20-year-old woman. She had some and muscle. Like, and we were like, let's let's send Marshall on there and have him laugh maniacally. I, I still have to post that video. And then you're, you're on it for what, a minute or two? Oh, my God, no. It, it was like five minutes. And you get off and you look yep. like you're going to throw up. Yeah. And we regretted. The kids seemed fine, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't fare well. What is it about getting older that makes you unable to go on a spinny ride? Maybe your brain settles in more to where it's supposed to be. Whereas as a kid, you're like, nothing's really settled yet. Yeah. I'm not really sure. But I've so never been good with spinny rides. And that that's what that was. It was yeah. a spinny ride. Um, one is a time traveler from the 1700s. The other is a time traveler from the 2000s. Yep. Okay, so hold on. I want to. So we do the spinny ride. We walk. We apologize to Marshall for making him go on that. Then... We approach a group of LARPers. And this to me was the <laughs> most interesting part of the day because these were people. Fuck, and I should have taken pictures. That I should have video recorded. Her. So there were like a bunch of tents set up, and we were like, what are they doing? Are people cooking stuff? There were tents, and there were like little fires, and it's pretty good weather. So you're like, all right, these people are out. And then we talked to this woman, and we're like, what are you doing? And of course, she doesn't say we're LARPing. There's like a more complicated term for it. I don't know. They're like, oh, we're doing historically accurate living or something like yeah. that. And we're yeah, like, I'll oh, so you, you don't have link. phones? Yeah, of their mission, what they do. Live like a Viking. Join a <clears throat> growing community of amateur experimental archaeologists as we That's discover, they uncover, and research the ways of the ancient Scandinavian people. I didn't see this guy there. No. Let's see. Join now. It's called Skaldvik. Skaldvik. Award-winning historical reenactor encampment of ancient Scandinavia. Oh my God! You have to pay for this. Two oh, adults, wow. up to four, starting at five hundred bucks per season. So they don't do this for fun. This is like they pay to do this. This is huge. Introductory for so if you're an individual, you have to pay three hundred dollars. Includes parking, camping, and. <laughs> 
Okay. You get credit hours if you're a student. <laughs> you can. Teachers and students. Yeah. Wow. DIYers. It's for entertainers and actors who are don't have anything better else to do. Crafters. Anyone else with a passion for learning. I mean, this is part of my heritage. Like, I am part Norwegian, but I have no desire to do this. Wow, they tell you what to wear? Under tunic, yeah, optional. Said, wow, you don't even have to wear an under tunic. There were a lot of uh, restrictions <clears throat> on what they could or couldn't do to be as historically accurate as possible. Belt pouch. So if you're a female, you can't roll up with, like, cleavage or a push-up bra. So I would immediately be out for that reason. All your belts have to be D-buckle or D-ring, hmm. period, accurate shoes. And I asked her, and I was like, well, how long do you stay here? And the longer we're talking to her, the longer she's like, oh, yeah, like, she really was just there for the weekend. I was like. Yeah, hey, she made it seem like she was there for months. She's like, oh, it's a two-month yeah. thing. And, you yeah, know, I, thought you, I thought you guys we'll were here leave. all summer. Like, I was like, you guys probably smell like shit. You're here all summer. You're like, I don't know if you're taking showers. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's just for the weekend. She's like, you know, because sometimes I miss a hot shower. And I was like. All my respect went out the window. I was like, what are you doing? But, You're just. But they built late. this tent. They had the frame, the canvas. They. Uh, yeah. They kind of invited us, I think. They were like, yeah, you know, next year you can you can do this too. Oh, everybody at this thing, it like is a hornball. I'm convinced like if you spend any time at the renaissance fair like you're a horny person and you're just you're just there to like look around for other horny people and you're like come into my tent it's historically accurate and then they <laughs> fucking put it in he did say that uh <clears throat> those those tents do get a little activity she Remember, said she oh said, they're not soundproof at all yeah yeah exactly i was like ugh, you're gross and she was like well, her, 60. Uh, her son and husband or whoever, are they all in the same tent? There was a, like a young boy behind her. I didn't, I should have asked if that was her son, but that's just kind of strange. Like horny people with kids around. I don't know. I think it should be a little more yeah. separated. Yeah. With just robes. I mean, if you get a boner, you can't tuck it. It's just out. Yeah. She said that she had to buy the tent herself, but make the, um, wooden uh, frame, the wooden frame. And she said she has a floor this year because last year there was a lot of rain. And so now she's like all bougie with her floor. Yeah. yeah. How young oh, did the boy also, look? Maybe cheated. 11, I guess. What's that? How long did the kid look? How old oh, did yeah, he look? Yeah, 11, 12. 12 maybe. Yeah. And then yeah, there she... was the girl to the side doing some lathe. There was an obese girl something. carving. Carving. She was to the side carving out of a, a like a, a big piece of wood. And I was like, what is yeah. she doing? And she's like, oh, she's going to carve that out. So we have something to make bowls in. I'm like, this is going to take the whole summer. Like by the time yeah. she's done carving that out, it's it's going to be December. And because she was not moving fast, like she was sweating. Like you could tell she just sat yeah. down, but like she was already over it. She was waiting for that bread that they were waiting for. Like she yeah. didn't they have. <clears throat> they had dough or something. It was rising, and then they were going to put it in a Dutch oven in the fire. Yeah, it took everything I had not to make a Dutch oven joke at that time. Yeah, of course. So it was like there was like br there was dough under a blanket. It was like sitting there. Yeah, and the fat girl's like licking her lips, salivating, <laughs> just carving out this wood piece, and like tiny, tiny chunks of wood are, fl are flying off. And I was like, this, yeah. she's going to be here a while. And I was like, what do you do with the bowls and stuff that you make? And she's like, oh yeah, we just you know toss them because she said every year they make all their own stuff again yeah it seems like a lot of waste of time and and money if you're oh, 300 yeah. bucks to join just, or whatever it was like just buy fucking brown paper bowls yeah actually she stuff. did cheat didn't she say um she has a portable ac unit just in case yes she told she told her us about the ac she has and i was like I don't know. I want to kind of report that to somebody. Maybe there's a place <laughs> on this company. website. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, look, this, this girl did not have a, accurate. it was a very historically inaccurate AC. <laughs> yeah. There's a contact. Your voice is important. We want it. Speak it below. Wow. Did you know there's a company meeting for this Skaldovic? And you have to, uh, you have to help strike all the stuff after the fair closes. Oh. So these people are paying hundreds of dollars to basically be without their cell phones for a weekend. Yeah, pretty much. And then they go to a hotel. But yeah, so we saw that, and then we saw a bunch of uh, 
a lot of people dressed up, which is which I think made you feel more comfortable. Like once you got there and you're like, okay, I'm not the only one wearing time goggles. Right. right. Yeah. <clears throat> Did um going back to that ride, you picked up on the fat shaming, the body shaming that was thrown at me. <clears throat> you were body shamed? <laughs> yeah, by the girl that pushed the oh, pushed no. the freaking thing. Because I was like, yeah, can I get on this? She's like, there's no weight limit. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you were like, who's talking about a weight limit? Then I got that on that thing and it shifted and all the kids were like, ah. Ah, I'm going to see if I can send myself this video of you spinning around this thing. <laughs> Yay, here it is. Okay, I have video footage of Marshall on the spinny thing. <laughs> and then it starts to hit. Then it hit you. All right, now she's just taking it a little bit faster. The royal roundabout hath treated ye poorly. Yes. Kids are having fun. Ugh. Oh no. I'm getting sick just looking at it. You could have gotten off if you wanted. <laughs> I wish the fun is now over. Oh no. <laughs> I like this first laugh. <laughs> I'll have to clip it for social media. We're having fun. Yeah. My eyes, the goggles do nothing. So there were a lot of other steampunk people there and yeah. I would sort of, I would see one and I would try to introduce you to them and I'd be like, ah, oh, fellow traveler. Yeah. Frank's like, this is what you're going to look like next time. Over time, I'm going to progress to that level of nerddom. Each, each year you come to the Renaissance Festival, you take your, your, you see how you can like make your outfit more complicated basically. Right. Yeah. He had, uh, he had steam actually coming out of his top hat. He had... <laughs> Why is that? Because it the steam shows that you're actually time traveling. I don't just the steampunk thing that that I don't understand style. steampunk. Yeah, this is kind of like a blend of it. Steampunk. It's like industrial. Um, it's uh <clears throat> what's that uh Wild Wild West with uh, Will Smith? You ever watch that? No. Steampunk is a subgenre of science fiction that incorporates retro futuristic technology and aesthetics inspired by 19th century industrial steam powered machinery. Steampunk works are often set in alternative uh, history of the Victorian era and the American Wild West when steam power remains in mainstream use or in a fantasy world that similarly employs steam power. It most recognizably features anachronistic technologies or retrofuturistic inventions as people in the 19th century might have envisioned them. Wow, this is <laughs> intense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got to watch. Uh, yeah, it's like Wild Wild West. Um, maybe that's where it ends. Why are people fascinated with this? Yeah, it's a whole subculture. I mean, it's a, it's a whole group of people that I think they do it even without rent fair. But where else can you go to like show it off? Family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> they just get disappointed when you show up. Oh, God. I'm so fascinated. And you There's have to buy a lot like of a gear. Reunion thing. Yeah. It's clocks, it's pocket watches. Um, you had one of these. You had a, like a viewing pole. Show us your viewing pole. My viewing pole. Let's see. Quite a contraption. Oh, you have to unscrew it. Okay. <laughs> Something's rolling Something on the fell. ground. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass, really. So this is a stick that you can carry around as I'm and that you're supposed to like peer out of. And there's zero magnification. I'm just looking <laughs> through plastic. <laughs> Looks cool. Though. But if it did work, it would be like you carry that around instead of uh, like a magnifying glass. Right. Yeah. I mean, this, this actually is functional. Were you peering at anything with that? Little peckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to buy you a pocket watch. <laughs> yeah. So this guy had steam coming out of his head and there were yeah, different like, a... 
areas that you could take pictures in. Okay, so it's science fiction. This is late. Okay, it didn't come in. Steampunk didn't come into existence as a word until the late 1980s, and it was initially used to describe a genre of speculative fiction. Uh, okay, so it's steam over electricity. It's also called neo-Victorian futurism. Wow. Hmm. This is good. I feel like let's get. we should get into this, like, really hardcore, like, scare people. Okay, I've heard of steampunk bands which are some steampunk bands there are theme parks do you think there's steampunk bands that play punk music so there's steampunk and then there's cyberpunk and then there's diesel punk diesel punk cyberpunk is basically the matrix set in the victorian era what in the world diesel i sent punk you a picture of the uh the other two my protege or i'm the you know the, the ones i'm gonna look up to i i guess you sent them and they have the bubble gun to on your twitter, twitter. Oh, th yes, these are the people that you met. Oh, my God. And they had the bubble gun, remember? Yeah. Let's explain what's going on here. This man said it took him an hour to do his beard like this. Just his beard, yeah. That was just an hour on his beard, on his mustache. <laughs> so there was steam coming out of this guy's head. Yeah. Can't really tell in this photo. But he had, like, clocks all over his hat. He had a magnifying, like, onesie, like, I don't know, monocle here with lenses. Yeah, and they said that <clears throat> they built these costumes over time. It's like, almost like they were looking down on me to go, you look pretty they good, were. but we kind of started like you. Yeah, they were basically like calling you Steampunk 101. Yeah, this, I wonder if part of being Steampunk is being incredibly sunburnt. <laughs> you got a little sunburnt. A little bit, yeah. I gotta, I gotta go back to my sunblock regime. So they've got bubble guns. I don't know how. Oh, Is this steam powered? Yeah, I guess so. You got the boots down and you had these sort of whimsical pants that tucked in. It was, uh, I'll, I'll wear the boots. Um, For a first time, a this boots. is impressive, Marshall. Well, thank you. I worked uh, you really hard cup. on it. <laughs> I'll send you the, uh, the video of uh, the bubble machines. Okay. Speaking of bubble machines, we might have another special guest. Oh, how about all the Jesuses we saw? There were a lot of Jesuses. I haven't even begun to like upload my photos. Shoot. Where should I go? There's so many weird, did not belong type costumes. Mm -hmm. uh, Stormtrooper. Well, Jesus is a time traveler, is he not? I guess he's with he's with us everywhere. He's omnipresent. Omnipotent, yeah. omnip, omniscient. Yeah, it seems like yeah. I can't go back to not dressing up anymore. That's for certain. That's for damn sure. I could have done my corset a little tighter because you know you look around the girls like, but I didn't want to have like all my the boob like, shelf out. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't want to, the unflattering boob shelf. Would you? Say oh my god, there were so many. It lo sometimes it looks bad. It looked really bad on a lot of people. You know who should have come to the Renaissance Fair is Jim Stansel. You Love a good time. Renaissance pair of tits, though, like you were just saying. Great Renaissance. Tits. Ren fair tits are a plenty. I feel like Jim would have stayed there, though. He would have lived there. Come back? Yeah, I think he would have there been part of the LARPing community. And sometimes people live above the stores. Like they'll sell their wares, like swords yeah. or whatever, and then they'll just sleep upstairs. Ye old whorehouse. Yeah. So you could buy swords, you could buy multiple sided dice, you could buy um, obviously tons wool. of corsets. <laughs> Everything Woolen. very hot. Yeah, if you want to sweat and pass out, <laughs> there were opportunities for that. What else was there? Oh my god. Yeah, I drank a lot. It, like I didn't think I was gonna get drunk because like you're drinking cider. Nobody gets drunk off cider. But I think it was like those extra little mead shots yeah. that did it to me. Yeah, someone got a little sleepy towards the end. I got a little sleepy. <laughs> you started to sleep at the air and was it the Aaron Bonk show? No, it's the no, Dead Bob show. Dead, dead Bob comedian. Which is a, his, uh, it's like basically a skeleton puppet. And then he's got his face covered in like a black. What's it? The, the guy whose job it is to like, maybe he looks like kind of like an undertaker. Yeah. I'm not sure what he was supposed to be, but the, the comedian was the skeleton. Yeah. Puppet. Let's see. Um, and uh, he was bombing pretty hard, but I think that was kind of his job. I think that was his intention. To be dumb. So this is the Dead Bob webpage. Um, so this is yeah. him, yeah, and then he has this skeleton-y type puppet that he has. Oh, God, it's the whole background. Damn. Oh, my God. What is this, MySpace? <laughs> yeah. I don't have time for a blog. <laughs> 
And it's it's easy to do ventriloquism when your face is covered. But yeah, he's going to be at the Renaissance Festival, I guess, uh, throughout October. Or no, throughout September. Anyway, yeah, I could have taken a video, but I was too busy falling asleep. Hello, Stancil. Hello. Now I'm here. Now you're here. Is your voice What's this? fucked you up? You punch these glasses off my face? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Boy, do I hate those glasses. Really? <laughs> That's why it's the only reason I came on, really. They put me into a rage seeing those on your dumb head. So, yeah, next year, definitely, Stancil, you have to come to the Renaissance Fair. Where was that? I missed the beginning. Where was Tuxedo. it? Tuxedo. I think it's in Tuxedo, oh, New York. It's tuxedo always the Junction. same spot. <laughs> yeah. And we saw LARPers. They were trying to, we were very impressed with them at first, but the longer we talked to them, we're like, oh, you're just here for a weekend. And then you go to your hotel. No. Yeah, they aren't are they the, the LARPers that like fight each other with foam swords kind of LARPers. They were more <laughs> just like with a little fire, like making making their own bowls. No, they were like living. I got, yeah, right, living I know. There. Used to go to Gettysburg uh, fairs. It was the same kind of thing, just, you know, Civil War bullshit. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's always fun to get into break character when you're trying to get into break character, like, you know make them look at their phone or something, ask them something they have to look up on. There's a lot of guys that were wearing fur there that looked like they were very sweaty. That's just, yeah. Yeah, that, Everybody uh, that stunk back area. then. Everyone did you know, stink. Disgusting. <clears throat> but that LARPer area, she was like, all right, we're over here on the 10th century. You're over here on the 21st century. Oh, right. It's like, this is the division. This fence is what separates us. Yeah, no. I kept With her thinking she was about to ask if, if she could borrow my phone. Like, oh, if you were to drop your phone on this century, <laughs> I could look up my <laughs> Instagram real quick. <laughs> Oops. Just saying. Were there any thought, uh, you know, were there any thought uh, renaissancers there? There for the uh, content? Plenty. You know? Plenty of thoughts there. Yeah. Right. Hard yeah, to show your know. ass in renaissance clothes. Yeah, well, for your legs in away. general. They were all about the long skirts and like multiple skirts. No. But there were a handful there, of people that had things out. When we first walked in, we saw a black guy with like a plastic crown and also wings like yeah. that were too small for his body. And he was just like chugging a beer at like 11 a.m. I should have taken a picture of him. That, that guy was a crown favorite. and wings? Yeah, I think he just sort of, it looked like he went through his kids, you know, like dress up bin and just pulled out a couple items, threw them on. It was a Burger King crown. Yeah. Is he homeless? Was... Did he have kids? <laughs> Wait, Sounds actually... like just a homeless person. <laughs> yeah. Who let this guy in? But you got to buy tickets. Oh, okay. So, it was fun, but it's pretty expensive. Like Beyond. it sneaks up on you. Every time you want to drink, it's like 10 or 12 bucks. Mm -hmm. And you got to have like five drinks. Yeah. So of course. Yeah. yeah. And the food was like Lindsay and I got falafel. <clears throat> it was like thirty-six dollars for two falafels wrapped in pita. Uh I had meat on a stick. I saw really that. Hot. Too hot for Twitter. It's so hot. Yeah. But it was it's like a lot of food. It's like and then uh Frank had a turkey leg later on. It was good. I think it's probably a good thing to be on it's a good place to be on drugs. If I did that, if I did drugs. Chrissy, I got to send you, take a look at this. This is maybe one of the best, <laughs> one of the best costumes. I DM'd it to you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> While we're watching jousting as you're yelling. Uh, uh oh. Faggot. <laughs> I wish we had video of that. Oh, is this the lady with the plate? No, this is uh, a, a boy, I think. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He was sitting it's, in the distance up against the forest eating. Excited. Okay, this is what we're looking at. Oh, this is Frank here. Yeah. Take and a look then... at the boy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. That's not good. What There's an outfit. Happening. That's, uh, I was yelling faggot at the jousting. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, like, how great would it be if everyone really got riled up and got mad and was like, you know, come on, you motherfuckers, and and then I turn mm -hmm. around and Chrissy goes, you're a faggot <laughs> to a guy on a horse. Because he lost. Oh, God, I almost forgot. So after the Ren Fair, we went out to dinner <laughs> in 
uh, in like Frank's like kind of neighborhood where he grew up. So it's like he knows everyone at this restaurant. It's like a, it's like a kind of a nice restaurant, uh, like white tablecloth, um, but not like you know not like a fancy steakhouse or anything. It's just like an Italian restaurant. So he walks in it and he sees the, he sees the three of us dressed up, and he's like, "Ah, uh, what's up, Frankie? What's going on? Uh, what's that?" Like totally judging us hardcore. And then Frank was like, is there a renaissance section? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then we eat. Then we then we come back. Uh, we came back to the house and hung out. That was really fun. I gave Lindsay a bathing suit so she could go in the hot tub. You got muffin and waffles. And muffin and waffles. And muffin wine. You got them into in the, the hot tub. tub. Muffin wanted to get in the hot tub so bad. Muffin and you're loves going, the hot no, tub. No, don't get in. Don't get in. And the dog's going, get in, get in. The, the and Frank's like, crazy. Don't he keeps, get the he keeps go, like tub. pawing at me and like pawing at the hot tub and like and like creeping into the water. And then so then I carried her in because I don't want to get her ears wet because she'll get an ear infection. And she's like, mm. it was fun. And then yeah, I took her great. out. And she ran around wet. And now Waffles is sitting on the bed licking herself. What part? Oh, her booty hole. Nice. <laughs> uh, Before we go, could I remind you of something, Chrissy? <clears throat> Just came to mind. Remember we were sitting around and eating and you threw a French, fr a French fry at a black guy and hit him in the face? No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> oh, my God, I did. But I didn't did to. And you totally walked away I like I didn't do that. I didn't throw it at Lindsay. And like, doctor moved. And I just hit him in the, sh I think it was the shoulder. Did it hit we him all the face? had, no, it was right in the face. And we all, you know, it was half a French fry because I was like, I'm on keto. I can only eat half. And then I had to throw the rest away. <laughs> you uh -oh. threw it at a black man. Fry. Half eaten French fry, throw it at the back of a black man's head. That's <laughs> how you finish the dry. podcast. Oh, dear. Oh, right. well. At least it wasn't an onion ring. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.